Ninamani. We acknowledge that we are today meeting on the traditional lands of the Ghana nation and that their cultural, heritage and spiritual beliefs are practised still today. And on behalf of the Ghana elders, I'd like to say welcome to the Ghana country and also welcome other nations that are present here today. My name is Yvonne Agus and I'm a Ghana elder in the city of Adelaide. And I'd like to welcome you all. My name is Cheryl Axelby and I'm the Relationship Manager for South Australia for Aboriginal Community Housing Limited. Tiki Turka came about um, as an initiative from the South Australian Government through the South Australian Housing Authority um, to have a purpose-built place for our children, um, our young fellows living in rural remote um, locations to be able to come to Adelaide um, and to study and undertake further training and development. All right, so um, at the, the um, Tikatika was built, um, it was about 20 um, rooms um, and like living accommodation facilities. Um, and it's built on uh, over three floors um, and it has a, a beautiful uh, garden top um, area up the top there where our, our young fellas get up there and can actually be outdoors. Um, and what I really love um, and enjoy about Tika Turka um, is getting to know um, all the residents here um, who come from all different communities. Um, and I think that's what really is really important is about how we all come together from different communities and. Um, and you know, respect our diversity but also learn from each other, um, a bit more about each other. Um, but also the main aim here is about to try and create a home for our young fellows who are living outside of their communities. So to become part of the Tikaturka um, family, um, normally you have to be enrolled um, within a university or a learning institution. Um, and you contact um, Aboriginal Community Housing Limited. Uh, our housing officer here is Ronnie. Uh, Ronnie Rankin um, and he's our first point of call um, and he will help um, and meet and greet um, and give a good overview about Tika Turka and uh, what facilities are available. Um, it is independent living so you know our, um, all our residents here um, it's like an independent living facility where they do you know buy their own groceries or do their own cooking um, but of course you know we have um, supports around here like with our workers um, to be able to support our young fellows to be able to settle in um, and also to undertake shopping and also we develop programs um, and what we call place-based programs um, here at Chikaturka um, to create um, independent living opportunities but also connections to community um, and also um, connection to other learning um, and, and employment opportunities as well. Yeah, hi, um, my name is Ronald Rankin. I'm a proud Nutanjeri man and um, I'm the housing officer at Chikaturka. Well, I'm the actual first point of call, I suppose, for any new residents or students that are looking for accommodation here at Tikatoka. So, yeah, I'm the first point of call and um, I get everything organised as in uh, sorting out leases and um, well, that's been the first of its kind in the country. Um, and, and since I've been here and I've seen, had a good insight onto how it functions and what it's all about, I think it's one of the best things that ever happened to um, for Indigenous um, peoples, I would say. So, yeah, definitely, definitely need these more of these places all over the country. Hi, my name's Trish Ritchie. I'm a Dungari Wirungu woman, and I grew up here in Adelaide, South Australia, and in Sejuna. So. I'm now the Community Development Officer for ACHL and, um, and for Tika Turka. I love my role, I really enjoy doing this job and connecting with my Indigenous community and communities across South Australia. We've got a, a group of young people living here at Tika Turka and um, you know, it's really great for us as an Aboriginal team to work with them and create cultural activities, life skill activities for them and uh, connecting them to the community. Um, I think from you know all of us as staff working here at Tikaturka, we come with lots of different uh, experiences, connections and, and um, you know relationships with other services and by us being able to support the young people in such a way um, we're able to um, think outside the square and 
connect them to Aboriginal services or mainstream services that are able to best help them and support them in their journey while they're living here at Tikaturka. What's exciting about Tikaturka is it's the first um, Aboriginal student accommodation in the whole of Australia. And I just feel really fortunate to be a part of this journey in supporting the young people living in this facility. We, as a team, we, we know that we've got a big job um, at hand um, and we want to make it great for the young people that live here in this facility. We know that they come from you know, different communities and um, by them coming and living in Tikaturka, uh, so it's a facility that's a 20 bed facility, they start having, you know, uh, building their own relationships and understanding of what it's like living in a shared facility and um, learning to share this space with everyone. My name is John Lakobiak. Um, a lot of people know me as Johnny Walker. Um, my role here at Tikaturka, uh, right from the beginning, was as a cultural advisor, um, also in supporting students um, when they're feeling a bit of homesick away from home. Just general support um, has been really important. Yeah, and, and like when they first come in, uh, they're very very sort of reserved I suppose and a bit shy um, but um, once they realise um, who they're actually be living with and who's supporting them and the, the support networks that we give them it just sort of they, they tend to blossom um, pretty quick in a sense and um, which is which is what the which is what we want to see and uh, become uh, in very independent uh, young adults yeah. Hey, uh, my name is Michael Cullen and I'm a Nadanjiri Naronga man um, who studies psychology. Um, my mob's from Raukin and York Peninsula. There's a, an artificial uh, vibe that you go through when um, trying to get a private rental. However, with uh, Tikaturka, it felt like I was just naturally stepping into um, home, really. Uh, so it was quite easy, really. They walked me through and, and said, look, you've got a choice over these rooms and they were very accommodating and once I signed the lease I actually got quite emotional because um, it was one of the, the first times in a while that I felt truly welcome. So Jingaree, my name's Jacob Murray Levenge. I'm a proud New Knuckle and Coomba Mary man from Queensland and yeah. <laughs> I'm currently studying my Bachelor of Nursing at the University of Adelaide and I'm also doing a um, program that goes into my graduate at the, at the Royal Adelaide Hospital in the Emergency Department. So I've been living in this accommodation for about nearly two years now. Um, it was when COVID started, um, I fleed Melbourne where I was living before. Um, I was pretty much on nearly utterly homeless until I found this place. Um, I had a work, uh, I was speaking to one of the uncles here and he recommended Tiki Turka and yeah, it's, since then I've been here. <laughs> so it's really deadly to see that there are younger students than, than me here, um, you know, getting out there, I'm um, really passionate about education, about their, you know, their careers um, and yeah, just really want to make a difference in the community. Um, yeah, like, Obviously, if you know our history, we, you know, Aboriginal people, there's been a lot of disparities with Aboriginal people and education has been a huge one. And yeah, I think, like for me, I take this as a massive opportunity and advantage to um, challenge myself and also um, indulge in something that, you know, we've been forced to, like we've never been allowed, you know, given. So, yeah. Uh, my name's Jordan Tate, I'm from Murray Bridge, uh, I'm a Nutajiti man, and yeah, I just moved to Adelaide to take a I'm studying Health and Medical Science at Adelaide University. Uh, it's my second year and I'm planning to transfer into medicine. Uh, since moving into Tiga Turkey, it's been good to get to know everyone living here. Um, it helps a lot with uh, a lot of other students you're living with, you know, you get good study downtime with everyone and um, seeing people in the courses you want to transfer into or you know, their third year in your course, it really motivates you to get to where they are. 
Uh, um, being the first one in my family to study away from home um, was a big leap for me and having this second family here at Tinker who was good, they planned a lot of activities to get to know everyone in the house and yeah just having so many opportunities to connect with people outside of university really um, opens my career opportunities. I am Dharma Dukas. I am a proud Pijinjata Yankunjata woman from Indokuna community in the APY lands. I am in my second year of the Aboriginal Pathway Program at UniSA. I've got one more year left of that and I am looking to get into politics next year. Tika Turka is great in the way that it provides you with study rooms, uh, you get common areas that you can mingle with other people, you also get your own space and your own pod which uh, has lounge rooms in it, um, great kitchen facilities and everything like that. You can cook up a big storm in the kitchen um, and yeah it allows you to be who you are in a comfortable space around people who make you feel like you're at home. The problem we've had is once our students leave school they've got nothing else to go to and they quite often finish year 12, go home and don't go further in their education. Having Tika Turka, a place that will support them, give them accommodation, um, I think is just amazing and, um, and I think with our, um, some of the difficulties of moving to a big city, um, not having accommodation, and not having support, um, you know, living remote, um, we don't have a lot of services, um, but having Tika Turka here to support our students is amazing. I think I'm really grateful for how far we've come in the last, let's see, 40 years. It wasn't until like, what, 1970s that a lot of Indigenous people were released from chains. They were being run out of universities and they never had an opportunity to, to seek further education um, or even good quality education at a primary level. Um, now we have this this HQ for Indigenous students um, that is like a continuous workshop for resilience and, and cultural empowerment um, that mitigates acculturative stress so if people are, are able to pursue their goals and dreams and then also support their community. Yeah, we're pretty excited that we've got this building and that we're running with it and that we're supporting young people in the next generation to succeed, get educated and step out and be our next Indigenous workforce in the communities right across the country. The future for Tika Turka, I think is just going to grow and get bigger. We all know the importance of education and being Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander um, the oldest living continuous culture um, in the world and I think we've got a lot to offer uh, society and the best way we can do that is through education but the fact is we do need places like Tika Turka to give us that support along the journey. And you know when we look out to them now moving into tertiary education having support of um, accommodation um, services like Tika Turka um, is, is good for our rural and make kids but I think it's also good for all our kids um, who need that, that sort of dedicated space to be able to study um, and have facilities and supports available. Now we know that a lot of our families um, experience overcrowding um, living conditions and I think Tika Turka provides that um, lovely headspace for our fellows to be able to be in an environment and thrive um, and to be able to focus on their studies with the supports. Um, and ideally, we would love to see more Tika Turkas being built um, around Adelaide, um, but also, you know, ideally we'd love to see, when we're looking at employment, education and training, um, and we have fellows coming from very rural, remote communities, that maybe in the future we actually could look at some being, you know, in place in Port Augusta as a halfway sort of place for people so they can go back and have that connection still with families and communities. But ideally, we'd love to see more Tika Turkas um, being built because you know, education is a way of the future for our younger generation. Um, and if you meet um, you know, and get to meet the opportunity um, to meet our residents, um, they are deadly young fellows who have very clear visions about what it is they want to achieve. Um, and also, you know, they're our future leaders, so what better um, you know, place could they be uh, you know, in an environment where they're supported 
you know, they have like an uncle auntie type environment around them. Um, you know, we don't see ourselves as workers, we see ourselves as being part of the community and being and, and creating the community for the residents here. Since coming to Tikatoka, this place has been a very family orientated environment. Everybody is like brothers and sisters here. We all get along very well um, and we all give each other the support that we need when we need it. And I think that, you know, once these students have, have done their certificates and their rewards for what they're doing, working at, I hope that they can take it back to their communities and get the other one youngs to follow steps. So we need more people like them that are studying at the moment in our community and in your community.